into the locker room yet again. Can you believe that, Morris Spudley? I hit all the soap and he's still in there showering. I wonder if his wife goes down to the river to bathe. Hi. <laughs> Boy, you can sure tell there's a full moon out. You should see the nut I arrested last night for being under the influence of drugs. That dude was so wired, he was nude break dancing on loose gravel. His back looked like raw meat. Sonny, I heard a rumor that Sweet Cheeks Marie has a, the hots for you. You better watch your step, because those hookers will put their hooks in you before you know it. Speaking of girls, that Hoochie Coochie Hannah is sure one spicy dancer. She drove the guys completely crazy. Hmm. I'm going to write a memo about this hot water situation. This place never has enough hot water. I, for one, think we should be able to take longer, more comfortable showers. You know, as well as I do. Dooley doesn't like cops who waste time. So, let's open the locker. Okay. Get towel. Close locker. Alright. And there's that person in the washroom again, in the toilet. Turn on shower. Wait. Turn off shower. I guess that's long enough, given that there's only two minutes of hot water. Open locker. Get suit. Get all. All these. Close locker. Alright. And... Nope, uh, just the regular mecha mine for this one. Into the briefing room. Drug traffic must stop. In his firm voice, Dooley reminds you, being punctual to briefings might keep some of those corrective memos out of your pigeonhole bonds. Now find your seat. Sergeant Dooley says, Men, we've received information from the day sergeant concerning a missing persons report filed earlier this morning. It seems that a Mexican male, physical description of 5'8", 145 pounds, black hair, brown eyes, by the name of Jose Martinez, was last seen by his wife two days ago, getting in a late model, light blue Cadillac. No one has seen or heard from Martinez since. This person has had some previous arrests involving narcotic sales, says Dooley, concluding the briefing. Be advised that this black Cadillac may be one and the same as the one involved in the recent murder of Lonnie West. We have a partial license plate number of L-964. <laughs> Dooley then proceeds to give everyone their beat assignments for the day, concluding with yours. Sonny Bonds, your call number will be 8332. Keep it safe out there, boys and girls. I'm late for court, Sonny. Catch you later. Sonny, the next time you sign up for graveyard, sh graveyard shift, I'd just love to be your partner. Next time Dooley embarrasses you like that, you ought to tell him to go eat hubcaps in the parking lot. Boy, Judge Palmer sure ticked me off this morning by finding that sleazy dude not guilty. What a judicial jerk at she is. You should buy a new watch, Sonny. You might show up on time for once. And what does this final one have to say? Boy, Sonny, Sergeant Dooley is hotter than a pistol at you. Maybe look at hole. You check your pigeonhole and find a sealed envelope. Ripping it open, you find a message from an unknown informant advising you of illegal high-stakes gambling in the back room of the Hotel Deforia Cocktail Lounge. You vow to remember the information and discard the envelope and message. Okay. Love that star. Anyway. Let's go ahead. Get our keys. You're not close enough. Now we get our keys. Get radio. The same radio we had before. <laughs> ah, what a budget. Okay, out we go. And every time we re-enter the police car, we have to do our safety check. Like this. Okay. And... Having performed the prescribed walk-around safety check of your vehicle, you're now ready to hit the streets. Open door. Close door. Out we go. 
and race mind. This person's going to be driving considerably faster. Faster than the others. Let's just drive slowly for now. Keep our hands on the three. Three buttons, slow, medium, and fast. We somewhere. Find the car somewhere. It's the dead end right there. Dispatch relays. 8332, be advised. Possible stolen vehicle reported in your vicinity. Vehicle is light blue, late model Cadillac. Last seen near Jefferson High. Possible drug involvement. Approach with caution. 10-4. I didn't know which car I was. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try this again. Go back to this area. Go down. Maybe one more to the left. Driving right in the middle of the road. Oh, this allows you to drive on the wrong side of the road. If you're allowed to run yellow lights and have it remain red while you're in the middle of the intersection, hopefully you are. That, that makes sense like real life. So we're waiting. And should show up somewhere. Let's see one. Now, I gotta learn how to drive this. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for it. Wait, 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 not really centered, am I? Centered in the lane. Nope. You know, cars can be a little picky sometimes, can't they? So, once I get the message again, I'll pay attention to which vehicle I am. Mm-hmm. So, it's gonna be somewhere. The light blue Cadillac. I think it's driving about the same speed as me so far. I think it's blue, not cyan. So, not sure which one it is. Oops, that was a close one. That was a really close one. Yep. Now, where could that vehicle be? It's, it's probably going to be driving faster than the rest. So, it should stand out. Um, drug mind should be, again, should be distinguishable. Really close to the red light there. Really? Which one's going to be the light blue Cadillac responsible for the drugs? Oh! I think we have it now. Okay. So let's save it now. Hmm. Ooh. Oops. Wow. Surprisingly generous. It's not even crashing my car right there. There we go. Noting your persistence and driving skill, the driver of the Cadillac pulls it over after his attempts to lose you fail. So let's save it here. Let's not get out right now because he's going to shoot. Attempting to apprehend the suspect single-handedly was brave but fatal. Review the felony stop procedures section of your LPD policeman's indoctrination guide. So instead, let's go ahead and unz the radio, the urdio. You nervously key your radio. Dispatch, this is 8332. Request backup code 3. Dispatch responds, be advised, 8331 is responding code 3 to your location. <clears throat> okay. In the meantime, when the car comes, I'll go ahead and slow down the speed of this, of the game. There we go. Officer Jack Cobb arrives on the scene. Cobb radios, dispatch, dispatch, be advised, hold all radio traffic until code 4 confirmed. Dispatch responds, affirmative. 8332, this is 8331. Sonny, I'll cover you from the passenger side of your patrol car while you make contact with the suspect. 8331, out. So let's set it to normal. Okay, open door. Um, get gun, I guess. Get gun. Load gun. You rip out the speed loader and load your weapon. Draw gun. I think I'm doing it right. 
Get out of car with hands up. The suspect falters for a moment and slowly re raises his hands. He realizes he does not have a chance and follows your orders. Oops. Um, I was a little bit too late. Partner just punched the punk's ticket, but a little too late for you, pal. Remember, proper procedure promotes police preservation. Okay. Lie down. I'll save that. He doesn't have his hands raised yet. Okay, okay, I'm lying down. Okay. Put gun away. Save this. Cuff man. Jack says, I got him covered, Sonny. Go ahead and cuff him. You apprehensively approach the suspect, sensing his desperation. You feel relief as he closes the handcuffs around his wrists. Search man. You search the suspect and find only pocket change. Plus a loaded Smith & Weston .45 caliber semi-automatic shotgun. The suspect pipes up, Honest officer, I only carry that for self-defense on the freeways. Quiet down, you order him. Hey, Jack, you yell to your backup. How's about booking this evidence? Okay, Jack replies. So, save it again. Stand. Read rights. Suspect cuts you off short as he says, I know my rights, you jackass. To be safe, you read his rights to him anyway. Carefully, you admonish your suspect of his Miranda rights. You have the right to remain silent. What you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one be, will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. Okay. Follow me. You order the suspect into your patrol car. He submits with a sarcastic, All right! Your favorite expletive here. So, let's... I guess... I guess it's safe to say that that officer is not going to shoot me. Closed door. Wrong door. Okay. Good job, Sonny, says Jack. I'll call dispatch and put out a code 4. There we go. So. Get gun. Jack took it with him. Gotta remember, distinguish between Jack and Jason. Jack was the police officer. He carefully handled the gun, the suspect's gun, so as not to smudge any possible fingerprints. So, look. It's a Smith and Weston 45 caliber automatic handgun. Drop gun. Okay. Hey, Jack, you shout. Book this gun! Okay. So... I guess now we'll open the trunk of this car. Open trunk. Um, look. You open the trunk and discover a clear plastic bag containing a white powdery substance resembling cocaine and another clear plastic bag containing a green leafy substance resembling marijuana. Okay. Close trunk. As you start to examine the evidence, you hear Jack's voice behind you. Just leave that stuff in the trunk, Sonny. I'll impound it along with the car. Okay, Jack, you say. See you back at the station. Okay. Don't know why this game feels a little bit fast-paced. Look at door. Say, the door jam of the suspect's vehicle is black instead of light blue. A closer examination of the door jam reveals the vehicle's VIN plate. A quick rub with your thumb uncovers its number. C0345618. Okay. So, let's open compartment. And... Read book. Or a book -j. You open the notebook. 2000, call RG. Set up Hotel Daphoria Gambling. Blackjack. Initiate plan for dealer RO. Meet JM and LW. Cindy, $100. Drop book. 
We leave the suspect's black book undisturbed to be impounded with the car. Look at licenses. Marvin Hoffman. Male, 6 foot, 194 pounds. Pound symbol, very funny. Hair, black. Eyes, blue. Date of birth, 6256. 31 West 104th Street, Chicago, Illinois. Restrictions, none. Leroy Pearson. Male, 5'10", 187 pounds. Hair, black. Eyes, blue. Date of birth, 4'28", 55. 1134 Beach Street, Newport, California. Restrictions, none. Your partner will impound these items into evidence, along with the car. Closed compartment. Okay. So, let's go ahead, save, and in closed door. Okay. There we go. And it was at the police station. Okay. If anything happens to my car, I'll have my lawyer on you so fast, he'll... Keep it down back there, slimeball. Jack comes on the radio. Dispatch, this is 80... 331 confirming code 4 on felony stop 1 in custody 8332 proceeding to jail request tow truck to location dispatch res responds affirmative 8331 code 4 tow truck en route yep down to jail after this red light turn green already is that the city hall next to the jail really you sure that's safe what if there was a professional assassin in the jail okay so open door Close door. Open door. Get up those stairs, dog meat. This world would be a lot better without cops like you. Shut up and keep moving, Hoffman. Oh, I guess this is your big bust for the day, huh, pig? Seeing you in cuffs gives me a natural high, punk. Open locker. Once he's out of the way. You're going to find out this was a big waste of your time and mine. Open locker. Put gun in locker. Close locker. And push button. Release the buzzer. Follow me, you order your prisoner. Jailer greets with a friendly, Hello, well, well, old Bonds is loose again. My goodness gracious, says the jailer. Here stands Bonds again on the behalf of the people. This one bad dude, says the jailer. What are you booking him for, Sherlock? Drugs. Jailer responds, Okay, drugs will do. Fill out the booking slip and give me his property. What's your name, the jailer asks your prisoner. The name's, uh, Marvin Hoffman, you scumbag, he responds. And that's all you're getting out of me. Deep down, you know this sleazebag is not the man he claims he is. You book him Marvin Hoffman anyway, hoping his numerous felony charges will keep him in the slammer long enough for you to certain to ascertain his true identity. You hand the jailer the booking slip and the suspect's property. Okay, Bonds, the jailer says. You can remove his cuffs and place Mr. So-called Marvin Hoffman into cell number one. Get cuffs. You remove the cuffs and place them in your handcuff case. Your penthouse awaits you, Hoffman. Shove it, pig. Man, he must be really alert. You little meter maids can't keep me in here, he shouts. Hoffman yells, I'll be out of this tank before you finish your coffee break. Okay, Jack says, Well, I see you've got that slimeball pusher booked. The car's tucked away and all the evidence is booked. This is one clean bust, my boy. I received a call from dispatch on the way over here. Dooley wants to see you in his office when you are done here. Since my shift is over, I'll see you back at the station. Up here. Nothing to say? Alright. Oh god, I left the door open again!